Hello, neighbors, and welcome or welcome back to the stream. I am Squealer D, and I am Hello, back again. And this time, my neighbors. friends, it is Friday, and, welcome, or and it is welcome back fun day. The and I was Googling fun D. ways to practice stock again. trading. And guess what they told me? It is they said, Friday. And, welcome, or and it is welcome simulator. Fun day. Simulator, 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 simulator. Practice what they simulating. It That's the game. Friday. So F it. it is I say, day. let's simulator, practice simulator, simulate. Simulator. So... We Simulator. will bop into our thinker day. swim today after the news. Day. So my hair is brushed, my coffee is done. Guys, I think my coffee was a success today. I, it doesn't make me want to puke when I drink it. Swim today. I think we're doing good. My hair is so my hair is brushed. Coffee my eyes are semi open. It doesn't make me want to I think we're good to go. So what we're gonna do is you know us. We're gonna check out the Yahoo Finance News because that's what I a gift. So what we're gonna do, you guys? I love gifts. They almost get me every time. They tell me there's a gift news because that's what I, I want to have it. I want to have Yahoo Finance Plus us today, but I don't want to pay for it. They almost and I know that this is a free gift and I wouldn't have to pay for it, but I want it forever. I hate free trials because they give it to me and then I forget it's a free trial and I think that that's part of my life and I wouldn't. And then they take it back away. I hate because trials. You know. They give it this probably is what like 9.99 a month or whatever and when you're still poor life, those 9.99s add up like if you don't use something very much you know for instance what like i use hulu like once a year guys i forget about hulu it's not that i hate hulu it's not that i think netflix is better it's for just instance, that what, like I use Hulu. Hulu. Nobody like talks Hulu about Hulu to me. I for, so I don't. Hulu. People talk about Netflix to me. You know, my daughter, she'd be like a Netflix show. She loves cooking shows on Netflix. I use like the baking talk championships. So she talks to me about Netflix, but nobody talks to me about Hulu. So I forget all about it. If you have a Hulu membership, what is it, fourteen ninety nine a month or nine ninety nine a month? And you forget about it like I do. That could be potentially one hundred and twenty or more dollars a year. You could have put towards finance a month, your towards your portfolio. And you forget about it, like and you wasted it on Hulu that you don't even remember about. So me, my friends, I do not waste it on Hulu. I do not waste it on Netflix. I borrow a password on Netflix. And you wasted it on Hulu. Actually, you don't even. I have a friend who bought me a password on Netflix, like put me on their account. I do not. So hopefully, I won't get. I borrow a password booted off because my daughter uses it. But really, I don't care. I have a friend who bought me a password on. I refuse to ever pay for Netflix again after they put. That I borrow a password that, that movie that they put on there that promoted really young children acting ugly. Um, I, I don't want to watch Netflix. Netflix. Pay for Netflix again. Or I don't want to pay for Netflix. I'll watch their movies. Whatever. That, that movie that they put on there that promoted. I'm never gonna not do something. I gotta check stuff out. Pay for Netflix. You know. I don't want to pay. You gonna know about something unless you actually that movie that they put on there. Engage in it. I'm never gonna not do something. Speaking of engage, guys. I got attacked on my Facebook today. My personal Facebook. Actually. That movie that because engage in it. I'm never going to not do. Let me give you guys a piece of advice. I'm 40 years old. I can give a little piece of advice to you youngins. Anybody younger than me, this is advice for you. Today's Friday advice day. I'm never going to not a little piece of advice for you. If you are on Facebook, let me help you protect you from being one of the idiots. This is advice for you. One of the smooth brains on Facebook. If you are on Facebook if you are and you see something and you don't agree with it, you from being. how about don't say anything? This is advice for you. One of the smooth brains. Unless somebody says something really egregious and you know they're wrong. Like if somebody says, there's no problem with people living on the side of the river in tents. And you know that something, there is a problem with that. Like feces going into the river, sewage not being correctly no stored people you could say that of the river in but don't just say and you know that something uh, you don't know what you're talking about feces what if they do know the what they're talking about sewage not what if they're a feces expert you could say that of the river in but or just say a river expert i don't know what the hell you could be but if they are an expert at something and they made a comment and you don't and you're not an expert at it you should probably not say anything i don't know what the hell you today two different people came at me because i said and that homeless people 
you don't, and you're not any homeless person. You should probably not say anything in the world. I don't know what the hell you today. should not live by the river. Came at me. Well, in America, because we have sewage. That I take back the world. I say United States. Any homeless person, any individual in the United States, the world should not live by a river. Not live by the river. And dump their feces and sewage and drug paraphernalia into said river. Nobody. Any individual in the United States. There's no exception. Should not live by or nothing. Nobody should do that. And I said that. That's how I feel. That is the truth. Nobody should do that. If they dump their sewage in our waterways, it will stay in our waterways. And it will affect us. That's how I feel. We already have a water shortage, guys. If you think that California getting a little bit of rain solved our water issue, it did not. It will affect us. Google Nestle Water. They've been stealing our water for years. If you think we are going to run out of fresh water on this continent issue if we don't watch our waterways. Google Nestle because we're using them for ignorant stuff. We're using them to pool semiconductors, guys. We're using them to get money. We don't watch our water. Imagine using all your water for ignorant to make more money and then not having water for your people, guys. We're using them to get money. Call me silly, but that doesn't make sense to me. All your water. Especially when we have homes that are empty that people are charging too much in that these homeless people could live in. Get have sewage, guys. That doesn't make sense. You know what that means? All your water. No sewage in the waterways. Homes that are we protect our country charging too much by not being greedy. These homeless people could live in. It's just a, it's a fact. We cannot pollute our waterways. I said it. Many people came back at me not knowing. One of them asked me, do you want to know what they said back to me after I said homeless people should not pollute the waterways? We cannot pollute They told me. I said it. Have you ever lived not knowing by a river? Have you ever been homeless? Well, yes, sir, I have. Many a times. They told me when I was a little kid, I lived in a tent on the side of the river. I know exactly about river living, and I know exactly about waste in the water. Many a times. You can call me a poop expert. I lived in a tent. A poop expert. I know exactly when it comes to the waterways. Yes, exactly. You can call me a poop expert when we know that drug poops have gotten into the waterways in Seattle and were found in our salmon. Yes, exactly. All of this bad stuff is getting dumped in the waterways from everybody. So we don't need to make it worse with homeless people living on the side of the river. We need to house these people in places with sewage. All of this bad stuff is getting dumped in the waterways. That's all I'm saying. So we don't need to make it worse with homeless people living. And you know what they tell me? We need to house these people. They tell me I didn't know anything about homeless people. I didn't know anything about vets. That's all I'm saying. I live right next to a veteran encampment. Homeless people living. You know, literally, I live right next to a veteran encampment. About homeless people. Google. About vet veteran encampment in right the Pacific Northwest. Encampment. You'll find my house. I'm a block Literally, away from one of them. I live right next to a veteran encampment. I can see them from my from my front where I park. I can see a homeless encampment, guys. It's for vets. You'll find my house. You know how sickening that is? That I live in a neighborhood with a lot of empty apartments. From my from my these vets live in tents right down the road on the middle of the street. It's for vets. Like find my in the middle of the block. That is, they have a parking lot with a lot of house vets there. From my it's disgusting. Tents right down. They have some outhouses. How do you think their sewage is going? In the middle of the block. Do you think it's running into the waterways? I bet it is. How's vets there? From my, it's disgusting. Do you think that they only go to the bathroom in a dirty little porta potty? Or do you think that they might go outside? How's vets there? From my, and then we all know how hard it is to have no health care in this country as a vet. No way to get into the to the vet to go see them. And they become drug addicted to to cover other things. So now we got drug addicted homeless people living in a parking no lot, to get into the, to the putting their waste, their drug waste and poop waste into the waterways. It's not okay. Other things. So, so now we got next time, guys, that you are on YouTube, in a do not say something, their, waste, their drug waste, unless it's a fact, into the because you might be talking to someone so who actually time, guys, knows you the fact. In a do not say any subject, guys, their drug not just homelessness, I'm talking about with finance, you might be talking with anything, who actually, you don't know the facts, or do not spit them, okay? Any subject, guys. They're not just homelessness. Facts. I'm talking about what'll save you guys. Might be talking with so much embarrassment in your lives. You don't know the facts. You are not. They both deleted their comments too. Any subject, like that makes it okay. Homelessness. I'm talking about what'll save you guys. Might be talking with so deleting your comment does not mean you that you took back what you said. They both deleted their comments. Once you so say words, guys, like that makes it okay. Words are the arrows that you could never get back. So deleting your comment. Let that be a memory to you. Took back what you said. Words are like arrows out of a out of a bow and arrow. That makes it okay. Words. 
and you, once you fired those words, you could never get them back. Let that be a memory. And you do not know where that arrow is going to land. Out of a, sometimes you're a crack shot and it hits right in the heart, and you can never take it back. Let that be a memory. Arrows are words you can never take back. Arrow is going to land. Out of a, sometimes you're a. Be careful with your words, people. Hits right in the heart. Those words and you can never take it back. Let that be a memory. Arrows are words you can never take back. Bed Bath and Beyond making a little comeback, guys. We are looking at words the morning recently viewed. Oh, this is our recently viewed, guys. That's why I thought that this was like a bed bath. <laughs> guys, we are looking at what should we have on here that, that recently is, oh look at this Tesla Tesla view guys That's bouncing around today it's got a like a 2.14 let us look at the news news real quick and then we will look at some highly volatile stocks and then we will jump into making a few trades look at the news news real quick and then we will look I am interested to see what kind of trades we can do today after yesterday jump into we almost made ten dollars yesterday and then we lost it to a market a market sell so we will look I am interested to see what you know trades we can do today after lithium stocks are falling today what's going on lost it to a market a market sell so Tesla is coming crash you know trades we can do Tesla is coming crash stocks are falling today that doesn't sound good today lost it to a market but I guess was like no apples market. coming crash Tesla's coming crash you, you know trades we can do a Tesla's crash after tesla crash. because it's a car company it just that doesn't sound it sounds funny to me to a market. but i guess it was as like seven apples analysts coming lower coming their price targets coming one predicts crash. the stock you know, is headed a crash to 28 dollars because it's a car company it just that doesn't does he mean 128 dollars but i guess it was as seven like analysts tesla's at 165 that guy thinks that tesla's gonna go to 28 dollars 28 dollars because it's a car company it just the whoa don't if if you have stock in tesla and you think it's that headed to $28 from $165, you better get out. Dollars. Because it's a car company. It just, that's, that's, well, don't, that's if, crazy. If what is Tesla's ticker? What does it look Tesla like, guys, their chart? It's headed to $28 from $165. Their five year, where are they at? Because it's a car company. It just, so all the way back. That's crazy. What is Tesla's ticker? What does it look like, guys? It was $166. It hasn't been below their five year, where are they at? Because it's a car company. It just, $95. crazy. What is Tesla's ticker? In 2020, it was $166. It hasn't been below. Low, and it's set at about the car company. What, 90, Six, 20, 20, 20, 20. What is Tesla? 20, 20, oh, I see what they're saying. So they think that this is like, this is what it used to be. It's a car company. And they think it's headed back down there. 20, 20, why? Oh, I see what they're saying. So why is Tesla like going under? This is what it used to be. I thought Tesla made a lot of moves back down there. So that he wouldn't do that. Oh, I see what they're saying. So why is Tesla like going under? This is what it used to be. I thought Tesla made a lot of moves. He lowered the prices. So and that's going to drop him down to $23 oh, from $165? Is Tesla like going under? Am I not seeing? I thought Tesla made a lot of money. He lowered the prices. The one year here is saying $189. Oh, $23 from, we got to go back and see what that guy was talking about. $23. Where do these people get their information? I need to know. $28. He lowered the prices. The one year here is So old Sean Tully, or young Sean Tully, I don't know if he's old. I like to say old. O-L-E, guys, like old school. Not old man, but like, or old lady, but like old. Or young Sean Tully, I don't know. Old Jim Robinson. But I don't mean he's an old man, but he's like an old, you know? Not old man. And he's like, when or old lady, old but like, oh, could take his word for it. Totally you know, old that's old Bob. But I don't mean you could, could trust old man. Bob's like word, old, old you know? School. Not old man. And he's like, or old lady, old but not all Bob. Take his word for it. Okay, you know, so old Bob. Let's see what they're talking about. Trust old Bob. After the bell on April 19th, that was yesterday, guys. Old man. No, that was two days ago. Old lady. 21 now. Take his word Okay, okay. You know, so old Bob. Let's see what they're talking about. Tesla announced Q1 results. They're sorely disappointed, even its ardent Wall Street fans. Okay, guys, so that's what we missed. That's what we have to be on top of. Tesla announced Q1 results. They released their quarter one on April 19th. That Wall Street fan. Five price reductions so far this year. Designed to bolster demand, lowered average sell prices so markedly that operating margins fell from over 19% a year ago to 11.4% now. Designed to ball told earnings were average traded by almost one fourth. That a battery on the blink performance was far from the fabulous growth story that Elon Musk 
lost long been selling investors. On the news, no fewer than seven anal analysis paired their price targets for the shares. At midday on April 20th, Tesla stocks had fallen 9.3% to 164.40, erasing 58 billion in market cap. At midday, an amount equal to more than one third of valuation of Netflix. So, a lot of people read this, guys, just like with the Bud Light billion in market cap. They read this stock fall thing. One third of valuation of Netflix. We are new to stocks, so it's hard for us to understand. Just like with the Bud Light but we have to understand stock that these stocks, not just Tesla, but all the stocks, so they are cyclic. We learned that in the very few first couple episodes, guys. Go back and re-listen to them. Stocks, stock prices are cyclic. Cyclic, guys, cyclic means in a circle. It goes in a circle. What comes around goes around. It will be back around. Stocks, stock prices are If you look at what Warren Buffett, he's, guys, and I keep saying Warren Buffett because look how how long Warren around. Buffett stocks, has been in the game. Prices are if you look, stocks, if they erase $58 million, billion dollars in market cap and he was all in on Tesla, of course he would lose his shirt. Of course. If you look, but who do you think that is knowledgeable in the stock market and is all in on Tesla? Of course he would lose his shirt. Oh, of course. If you who do you think is a, is a, is a seasoned trainer all in that has their entire portfolio on Tesla? Oh, of course. Or even a, who even right now is a, with such crappy a, quarter one earnings. If you were if you were in on Tesla, in let's say right now, guys, we had five thousand dollars in on oh, Tesla. Or five thousand. That's a lot of money for us. We're starting low. Crappy quarter one. Let's say we put five thousand dollars in on Tesla. Do you think we had five thousand dollars in on that people that put five thousand dollars on Tesla wouldn't have low? Crappy quarter. Watch this quarter one announcement. Five thousand dollars in on Tesla. We're we're two days late on it, guys. Because we're not invested. That do you think that somebody who has a lot of money wouldn't have listened or watched or had somebody break down this Q1 announcement to them. They did. They did. And so then they knew about the drop and they are what caused the drop, guys. These big guys announced people like Warren Buffett who have a lot of money and so then they knew $58 billion actually. Those people with their $58 billion, they pulled out. People like Warren Buffett who they caused that drop. And so then they knew $58 billion. They heard the announcement Caused they pulled out. Fifty-eight billion caused a drop. Pulled out. People like they didn't lose they their money, guys. Money. And so then they Tesla lost money. They heard Tesla lost shareholders. They pulled out. These people pulling out of Tesla. They may have lost a little bit of money, but the but the stock is up. And so then they Tesla lost money. So Tesla lost. Let us look at it again. Pulled out. These people pulling out of Tesla. I don't know. They lost a little bit of money, but the stock is up. And so then Tesla lost money. So Tesla lost. Let us look. There's an easy way. Oh, there is an easy way. It's called switch between these, huh? <laughs> sometimes, guys, sometimes I don't do well with the Internet. Oh, there is an easy way. It's called switch between these, huh? And it's okay if you don't do well with the Internet. You see this? This was a drop. Sometimes, guys, that was sometimes in January. So it, it's already done market corrections before. Between these, huh? That was just in January. Let's see back here. What was it at? Sometimes, guys, that was sometimes in January. go to five years. So it, it's already done market corrections so in 2020, that was when everybody went up, let's see back Tesla here, went up. Sometimes, guys, that was sometimes 2021. Five years. Tesla was up higher. It's already done. Had a bit of a dip so in 2020. 20, May, everybody summer, up, everybody dips. Tesla went up. Went up. Sometimes, sometimes, summer, guys, summer was their cyclic dip. 2021, years, and then it Tesla went up. up done. Had in a bit of a dip. where? In 2020, the end of 2021, summer, everybody dips. Tesla went up. Sometimes, summer, sometimes and summer, that was all of his new stuff. Remember, he did all of his new stuff. Up, done. He stayed up all the way to 2022. Pretty much, he had a dip, but like he stayed up. Sometimes, some, and that was all of his new. Took another dip. Did all of his new stuff. Up, done. He stayed up all the way to 2022. Took a big dip in the beginning of 2023. He took a big dip in the beginning. New stuff. Up, done. He stayed up all the way to 2022. Took a big dip in the beginning. He took a dip in the beginning of 2022, and then he took an even bigger dip in the opening of 2021. Because this is 2021, way down here. 113. He took a dip so he's up from that. If you bought right here, guys, and you sold today, if you bought at his low in January, because this is and this is after he's doing all this, he's done five discounts right here, guys. And this right here shows those discounts. You know you got to sell. 
So while while he's doing all these discounts, the guys with the fifty-eight bil billion dollars they're selling out right here, and this they're putting their money in other stocks. You know, you got one's probably that Warren Buffett is putting his money in. These discounts, the guys with the fifty-eight billion dollar rally back up right here. You guys see three soldiers putting their money in. I may only see two. One's probably zoom in on it. Buffett is putting his. How do we zoom in? Oh, like this, like this, billion dollar rally back up right here. You guys see three soldiers putting their money in. I may only see two. Not really, because there's not higher highs. Buffett is putting his. How do we zoom in? Oh, like this. I like to see things we've seen before. Yeah, rally back up right here. So, no. their money and they, they say because of all of that, they're putting his Lily! Oh, like this. I like to see. Hi, congratulations on your third location. It's going to go down to $23. That'll be interesting. We that we she'll definitely watch Tesla. Congratulations on your third location. If Tesla goes down to $28, guys, if it goes to exactly $28, then let's go back and find that guy who wrote that. Congratulations He's going to be our new location. friend. Yeah. If Tesla goes this guy, Tesla stock, guys, in Target is headed to exactly $28. Then now, this is how you find good people. Sean Tully said this. If Tesla goes Sean Tully. Tesla stock, guys, in Target is headed Let me get my little notebook, guys. Then now, this is how you find good people. Sean Tully said this. Keep it close. Tesla stock, guys, in Target is headed Let me get my little notebook. We're going to do. Then now, this is how you find good people. Sean Tully said We don't write it down. Guys, we'll never remember. Stop. And then we won't be able to check. Let me get my little note. Sean Tully. Then now, this is how you find good people. Sean Tully. We don't write it down. Guys, we'll never remember. Stop. And then we won't be able to check. Let me get my little note. Sean Tully. Then now, this is how you find good people. Sean Tully. We don't write it down, guys. And today is. And then we won't be able to check. Let me get my little note. Sean Tully. Then now, this is how you find good people. Sean. So we'll put that in our notes, in our journal. And guys, I'm making one. Check. I'm making one. I'm making one. It's taking me a minute because I do not have good proper Excel. So we'll and I know that sounds so ghetto fantabulous. But I thought I had it because, you know, my kid uses it on her computer, but I don't have it on my gaming computer. So it's like this big, gigantic shuffle, but scuffle to do anything on Word or Excel or anything like that. So once I get that straightened out, I got to get Excel. Big, gigantic And you know, I kind of feel like... Do I want Excel and Word on my gaming computer or anything like that? It's my gaming computer. It's for, it's for like, fun. I kind of not for writing. But I guess that this is fun and it, it can work for here so I could. I need another computer. I need two computers. I need a fun computer and a finance computer. That's the goal. I gotta get two computers. Here so I get so. I need another computer. I need Let's see what other news. So Tesla is going down, guys. And we have to remember. Remember, I think I get two computers. Here, so I get so stock. I need a market. I need Let's see what other news. So Tesla, Tesla is going down, guys. Finance. And yes, we have to remember, I get two computers. Here, so, so, so stock. I need. I always talk about it being a cycle, guys, with uptrends and downtrends, and every product has a life cycle. Okay. I need. That was an example, guys. A cycle. Look at this. With uptrends right here. and downtrends. Market cycle. It goes up. Product has a life cycle. Economic cycle. See how they don't match. I need. That was the market, guys. That's the rich people with uptrends. Side, and, and then the economic cycle, cycle has to kind of match cycle. it. Economic cycle, see, see? don't match. Stock. To market market distribution, the rich markup, up to this goes to a peak price. And the economic market down cycle has to kind of match. That's called recession for the people because they mark it down to sell it. Market yeah. distribution. They didn't the name it right here. It's called expansion. That's price. called inflation when they're marking it up. And we're in that cycle right now. Because they mark it down. You guys, this like right here, this peak is like name it right for us right now is like the depression, the Great Depression. Depression that we're about to up, hit because these people do not right know how to manage down. money. Guys, this Nobody. Right here, this peak Our government is like, they're not managing us right now. Is like the they let the feds do it, and you know what the feds are doing to us? Because he's robbing us. The feds rob us every day. The feds rob everybody. Right now is like they let the feds do it, and the rich people allow it because they can make money with the feds. The feds rob us every day. If you have feds rob a billion dollars, you're gonna hang out with the poor people and help them, or are you gonna hang out with the rich people? The feds and help them to the get richer. You're probably gonna hang out with the rich people. A billion. They have more in common with you. Hang out with like the money people and, and help big houses, big, big cars, the rich people, the nice fancy and stuff. They don't want you messing up. Get richer. You're probably gonna hang out with the rich people. A billion. They have more in common with you. Hang out with money people and help big houses. And I am not teaching you guys to hate rich people. They don't want you messing up. I am teaching you to become a rich person. They have more in common with you. You see this right here, expansion. And I am. It's called expansion, guys. You know why? Because it is inflation. Teaching you, but it's also 
expansion. A rich person. Right now, while things are inflating, this right here expansion, they're giving you a way to make money. You know why? Because they're throwing their crumbs while they expand. They're throwing their crumbs while they get ready for a, a bigger recession. They're giving you a way to make money. You know why? And during a recession, crumbs while they there are always ways to make money. They get ready. Always, 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 always. Recession. Maybe not the same way you used to. And during that's where your brain comes in, my fellas. There are always listen to me to make money. You can always make money, but it's not always in the same way. That's where your brain comes in, my fellas. Know who makes their money in the same way every time? Money. Warren Buffett. Always make money. So if you want to get on that level, you have to get there mentally. Warren Buffett is smarter than you. Warren Buffett is smarter than me. Buffett. If we want to get on Warren Buffett's level by the time we're 80 level, you million years old, we have to be as smart as Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett is smarter than If you don't want what Warren Buffett has, you don't have to get as smart as him. time we're 80. If you want half of what Warren Buffett has, you have to get half as smart as him. Warren Buffett. It's simple math, guys. The math math, we have to do more instead of doing less. And the problem with the country right now, as smart as him. Warren Buffett. It's simple math, guys. Nobody's doing more. Everybody's doing less. Our politicians doing less. With the country right now, everybody doing less. Our government is doing less. Our our military is doing less. You guys know that 77% of youths in America today cannot qualify for the military because they're too obese, drug addicted, or mentally ill. Less. 77% of youth today cannot qualify for our military. Obese, drug addicted, or mentally. So that means because we're being lazy, we're being of youth overeating, today. lazy, cannot, ridiculous, only 20 Three percent are men. So that means because three percent guys. Being lazy, That's it. That's all we got for military. Eating, lazy. What if that twenty-three percent don't want to go to the military? Three percent. You guys want to know a fun so fact? That means you want to know who those twenty-three percent are that are not obese, or mentally ill, lazy, or too handicapped to go to to go to the military. You want to know who they are? Want to know a fun fact? They're the rich people's kids. Twenty-three percent are that are not obese. Let's squealer. You're wrong. No, I'm not. Too handicapped. Twenty-three. Go to the you want who that's capable to go to the military, they're not going to go to the military. The majority of them are not going to go to the military. They're not poor people's kids that need the military. The 23, they're not disadvantaged kids that, that need a scholarship. They are, the majority of them are not going to go to the military. Rich people's kids, guys. They're, they grew up in a good house. That's why they had good food habits and they're not overweight. They have good mental health habits because they didn't have parents that abused them or did drugs or had them homeless in a tent. These are rich people's kids, guys. Guys, they're not going to the war. Rich people never send their kids to the war. Ask Donald Trump. Or did drugs. Donald Trump didn't go to the war? Homeless. Donald Trump's daddy gave him three million dollars and said, "No, boy, go get in the real estate business and stay out of that war." And he did. Donald Trump didn't go to the war. Homeless. Donald Trump's daddy did. We didn't go to war. And said, "No, boy, go get in the real." I don't know what he said. I think he said his feet were too fat or something to go to war. Donald Trump. I don't know what he said. Donald Trump's daddy did. Rich people said, "No, no, they don't go to the real war." I don't know. Look at look at um all these all these famous people who send their kids to the war and they don't do anything. No, they don't go to the real war. That weirdo Prince Andrew over in uh, England, these famous people, Prince Andrew, supposedly went to the war. They don't. I've never seen a war picture of him. They don't. I've never heard anybody have a war story with him. I'm sure he didn't really go to the war. He went over there. He wore his little patches. He stood around and he pretended so that he could have heard any. You know, he could have. I'm sure he didn't really background. I don't know. He went over there. He wore his little. But lots of people do it. They send their kids to the war and they don't really go to war. He could have become officers and they're in the rear by the gear. Background. I don't know. So went over there. We're we're kind of crapped out. What happens when everybody's too fat and too mental to go to the military? Well, then we don't have a military might, guys. So you know who? What we do? We hire African security when everybody's too fat and too mental. That's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna hire security from Africa. Because in Africa, their 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 youth is not overweight. Their youth is not addicted to drugs. Their youth is not mentally ill. Security from Africa, not on the level that Americans are. Why? Their youth is not maybe because of the illegal or or the the not illegal. It's illegal in other countries. Maybe because their food isn't like our food. They don't have M and M's. They have cancer causing items in it. They don't have sodas at every single store in America selling it straight to kids. 
They're huge. They don't have candy at eye level for children at every single soda store in, in their town. Store, and maybe that's why. Straight to kids. Maybe because every school doesn't have candy machines, and every public place doesn't have in their town uh, little shops where you can buy coffees and treats. Maybe because every sandwiches and you know, Africa is different. Every so what we're gonna do when we have no more youth to be in our military, we are gonna hire with our money. Because that's what Africa's we think different. in America we could do. So what we're gonna we are going to hire African no security. Put it, mark it down, guys. I'm calling it right now. We are going to hire. We are going to hire African security. Think security America from Africa. So They're going to come over and they are going to be our military guys. And guess what? It's not going to work. Hire. We are going to hire. It's not going to work. Security from that's sickening. That's slavery, guys. And we're not good enough. We can't keep our kids in good enough shape to 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 protect our country. That we're going to hire Africa to do it. That's sickening. That's slavery, guys. That's weird. And we're not. That's what we did when we needed to our people to pick our stuff, our, 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 our crops. Our country that we hired them from Africa that's for free. That's slavery. It was called that's slavery. And we're that's not. That's what we did when we needed. To you guys know that. Um, our, our, hey, military our guys. Our our if I'm wrong, check me in the comments. But free. you know when our country was over at war, we're not. We hired African security already. African security for our soldiers away at war. Check me in the comments. Soldiers, check me if I'm wrong in the comments. At war, tell me if you didn't see African. African security guards standing on your base. The way at war. Check me in the. If you didn't see African security guards guarding guarding the entrance to um your base. Security guards standing on your base. Iraq. War. Check me in the. Tell me. Let me know. Afghanistan. Let me know if you were away at a war. If you saw. American soldiers standing on your base and African security guards on the same base because America hired out of war African security American outside security guys and we have to we're at a point in this in in, in our country because America we cannot war keep providing people to the military when they are all drug abusers they're all mentally ill and they're overweight how can we keep supplying them keep providing so unless we use soldiers from somewhere else Abusers, or security from somewhere Ill, else in their or wait because America or we, AI guys keep robots so it's our next you, that's it soldiers from somewhere either else. we're gonna hire or other people from other from countries that aren't messed up or because they don't have the capability to get messed guys. up keep robots or we're gonna so make them next you, and either it. way is either horrible other people what do you think is gonna happen when the guns are carried by a security force that is not American we're gonna make them it's way more likely that those guns will turn on Americans Gonna happen. What do you think's gonna when happen when by security force AI takes over our military? Because we don't have anybody fit to be. Those guns will turn. It's probably not gonna be a good situation, guys. Even if AI doesn't become cognizant and take us over, do you really think that things will be better with a gun in a robot's hands than in a man's hand or a woman's hand? Do you really think that I don't know? Will be better? I don't know. And and neither do you, and, and neither does the people hands. that are making well, these robots. Do you really think? Like I heard I they're going to put a robot in New York. I don't. So know. if well, robots are going to go into you, New York, people tell me that they're not going to go into our military do because we really don't have military I might anymore. They're going to put a. And I'm not saying we don't have a military, guys. I'm saying think about the future. Going to go into you, New York. Sure. Tell we were kicking people out of the military. We had so many people. Military might anymore. They're going to put a robot. That was us, guys. Military guys. We're 40 now. Think about the. We're 40. Go into you, New York. Children below us, the ones that are 20, the ones born in uh, 2000 and we're one to 2004, sure, they can't qualify, they're too fat, the ones that are 20, they can't qualify, they're too mentally ill. Uh, they can't qualify. They were born in poverty and raised in poverty, and they don't have what it takes to be a military mind. They can't qualify. They're too mentally So now what? Uh, they can't qualify. They were born in the worst part, guys. We raised them. The 40-year-olds, those are the parents. They can't qualify. They're too mentally So now what? That's who raised these kids. qualify. They were born in the worst part, guys. I have one. The 40-year-olds, these 20-year-olds, they don't care. They don't care about America. They don't care about family, and they don't care about working in the military. And we made them that way. Twenty-year-olds, they don't care. So, about America, they don't reap our benefits, guys. And they don't. And we will see it in the news in the military. And we made them that way. So, they don't care. So, about America, they don't reap our debt ceiling watchers. Don't. And we will see it in the news in the military. This, this, and we made them that way. Food stamp work requirements, guys. About America, 
They don't care about debt ceiling watchers. Food stamp work requirements really disgust me. And we made them. They did that. Food stamp work requirements, guys. about America. They go back to work with women. Food stamp work requirements. Back to work for women on on welfare. And we made them. They did that. You know what it did to our country? Guys, it made all of the kids be latchkey kids. Latchkey. That means you stay home and you have no supervision. They did that. You know what? And then we wonder why all of the kids are fat. All of probably because us forty year olds didn't raise our children. That means you stay home. We let the TV raise them because we had to work and then we and work and work and work like a slave. And our children were just sitting, waiting for us to come home from work. The TV raised them because we had to work and now and work in order to get food for your children. They want you to work even more at these low wage jobs for us to come home. They want you to go work at Seven Eleven and now and work so that if they need gas at night, you're there. They want you to work even more just to get food stamps for your kids for us to come home. They want you to go work. Did you know in Sweden they don't do that and they don't have any of the social problems we have? They want you in Sweden if a woman for any reason I don't care why. Maybe her husband left her. Maybe she wanted to have a baby all alone. They don't do that in Sweden if you don't have the money to take care of your child. They give you the money to take care of your child so that all children are raised in the same type of environment. In Sweden, no child is raised in poverty. That way, no child goes to school and sees people without and and sees people with and decides to shoot up the school. That doesn't happen. No child. You know why? In poverty. Because they're making sure that the children are getting raised without child. And we're not making sure our children are getting raised, guys. The school. What are we gonna do? No child. You know why? If we have no children being raised, what do you think we're gonna have? We're not making sure. Forty years from now. Guess what, guys? No children. No child. You know why? Why would a child who wasn't taken care of want to have more kids? What do you think? Why would they want to be good parents? How would they know how to be good parents? Guess what, guys? No children. We effed ourselves in this country, guys. Why would a child and we keep effing it because these greedy politicians who think that they should get these PPP loans and all of this free money? How much? These people that that vote keep effing it to lower food stamps or or make it harder to get food stamps for the poor people. How much do you think they got in free money this year? Not this guy because I don't know who this is. That vote keep effing. He's just an analyst, I think. Or make whoever said stamps for the poor people to make work more work conditions for. Guy, for food stamps that vote with all of the food insecure people we have in this country the person who who initiated that work that law more work how much money do you think that they got for free from the government with how many grants do you think that they got in this country I promise you person promise you initiated it was more grants than how much money do you think that any welfare person could ever get you think in their entire life promise you from food stamps and welfare one politician gets more money in his lifetime welfare person in free money from the government in their entire than life any welfare person welfare. ever will get one politician and yet money when we want to make cuts we make cuts to the lowest of the low the people on welfare, welfare that are just trying to survive they already have a hard enough time and you wonder why everybody on welfare <coughs> does drugs cuts to the lowest because the low, it's the hard welfare. to be on welfare to nobody wants to be on welfare nobody wants to be at the bottom of the bottom but guess what guys for people to be at the very tippity top like Elon to be on welfare. Musk, nobody for somebody to have on welfare. Fifty-eight billion dollars. There has to be welfare people. People to be. They have to take money from welfare people. Musk, know why? Nobody for somebody to have because they can't be that rich if there aren't people that poor. There has to be welfare people. Make money equal, guys, and there are no poor people. Guess what else there isn't? For some to have because they can't. So guess who has a very high people make people want to guys, keep the poor people no poor people guess what else the rich people like. guys for rich people. the rich people so guess who has poor. a very this is not a poor person thing yet we always attack poor people like poor people. oh these drug guess addicts they do this and oh these the stores they do this and the people here no it's the rich people thing yet it's the people with a lot of money who make the rules they're making rules and now you gotta work to get food stamps so your child sits at home while you go work at 7-eleven just to get your little bit of food stamps and your little bit of money that barely pays your rent and keeps you eating the worst of the worst of the worst of the worst food. But you go work Governor DeSantis is worried about Disney and uh, pedophiles. And keeps we literally have people in his state, food insecure, going freaking hungry. And they want to lower food stamps, pedophiles.
pedophiles. Pays your rent. Why? And keep you why would you lower food stamps? Why not raise the food? Why not raise what Disney has to pay? And they, why would you attack small people when you could attack a, a large company? Why would you lower food? Why wouldn't he say all car companies, all realtor companies, you are all going to pay more so that the poor people can get some food stamps and eat? Large no, they don't. Why would you they go at, because then Disney would come after him. Realtor then the car companies would come after him so that the poor people, and he doesn't want to lose his job. He doesn't want to lose his, his momentum to the, to the White House. Then Disney, he wants us to lose. Then he wants the poorest of the poor to lose because we don't ever say anything. We have no representation. We have no Nobody to stand up and say, hey, DeSantis, stop picking on the small guy, because guess what they would do to you? They would just shut you up like DeSantis did the lady in the COVID. We have nobody to stand up and say, hey, the dashboard lady, stop picking on the small guy. She told everybody what he was doing about COVID, and he had her arrested, because that's what they do to poor people. That lady was poor. She was just a working working mom. Stop picking on the small guy. She told everybody what he was doing about COVID. He had her arrested arrested for speaking out, because that's what they do to poor people. You, you can't arrest. Disney for speaking out. On the small guy. She told and, uh, Disney can say whatever they want because they have money. For and you want to know what they say? That's what they do to poor They say things that help them. Disney for speaking out. Nobody speaks for the poor person. Can say and that is why they keep they picking on us. And you want to If you're in a school, they do to poor Who gets picked on the most? The fat kid? The poor kid? The ugly kid? The poor person? The dumb kid? That is why they keep. Nobody picks on the richest girl in school. Nobody. Who gets picked on the most? Nobody does. Maybe they do behind her back, a dumb kid. Maybe they say something, but but then you know what happens? On the she comes to school with her little Armani Armani clutch or whatever whatever's popular right now in high school. Her little um, dumb kid. Maybe they say something, but, but I don't know. What does she got? She comes to school. A Betsy Johnson bag? No, I'm joking. I know those are at Ross. Is it even Betsy Johnson? I don't remember. But anyway, what does she have? Her little Johnson bag. Her skims are on and and her little uh, Burberry jacket. Is it even? And nobody makes fun of that. Girl, nobody anyway, because she, she is her little the rich people uh, at the school. On and, and if you make fun of her, her dad is probably a lawyer that nobody works in town, that and nobody. they'll hit you with the um, cease and desist order. School. You're like a high schooler making fun of another high schooler, and pops hit you with the cease and desist. Stop doing this. Stop making fun of my kid because I have money. Take you to court. That's what happens, guys. Making fun of another high schooler, and it's possible that Treasury's cash on hand will be dangerously low in early June. Prior to an influx of quarterly revenues cool. mid-month. And so all the poor people must pay for this because rich people can't afford to lose that much money. Hand will be dangerously low in early June prior to an influx of quarterly We should do away with the treasury. And so I said it. Poor people must pay for this. I said it first. Rich people can't afford to do away with the treasury dangerously low because prior to an influx we don't need do away with the treasury. Like we don't. We don't need it. We don't need a do away with the treasury, a money machine prior to an influx that we don't isn't controlled by our government so that I, does whatever they want. We don't need it. We don't need it. We don't need it. The stupid treasury, a money machine, the Fed sold us out in the middle of the night, guys. Controlled by our government. And they didn't care. It does whatever they want. We don't need it. Hey, that's me. Look at me, guys. The stupid. Okay, let us. We got all the news we can handle for today. We'll pop out of that. Hopefully we have a, a, a smooth transition over to Think or Swim. And let us check out, oh, look, BuzzFeed. Here's BuzzFeed today, guys. Start of the, this is the start. Let me see if I can uh, have a better, a better clicker for you guys. I guess you could see the clicker, right? Okay. BuzzFeed's at 70 cents. This was the start of the market, about 6.30 a.m., and this is right now, so let's see today's. What do we got going on, BuzzFeed? It's trying to it's trying to make oh let's let's throw some Bollinger bands on it. It's upper. B. Look at us. We even know where things are now. Alrighty. So we only know a couple things about Bollinger bands, guys. We know. This is the top resistance. This is the lower resistance. When it makes a squeeze, it's going to bust out. It did. And it gets more volatile. It busted out down here, too. It's got another squeeze. It busted out. They say a squeeze right here like this, like a tight squeeze. I don't know if that's tight enough, but 
let's see. Yeah, it kind of just squeezes in and you, it's crazy. Bollinger Bands. Who would have thought I'd be looking at Bollinger Bands one day? So it's definitely getting tighter. <clears throat> and that, they say, is more volatility. So it's at seven. It's at 7079, so almost 71 cents. So the spread is pretty e even. Let's just buy some as a market order just so we get a habit of being able to buy market orders and non-market orders and know the difference, guys. So right now with the spread, the bid is 69 and the asking is 704. So we'll probably get around the asking price. 704 is what I think. I don't know, though. Haven't done this enough times yet. We're about to see. I'm going to buy 100 of them and see what we get the price. So at, we got it at 0.6977, which was the bid price. Okay. So we can bop over. That was in the charts tab. We just buy it. And we can use this buy, remember? It was the same thing. We can use this buy, same thing. You can even use this buy down here. You see these? You could buy down here. This guy wants to buy 51 if the price gets to 0 0.702. So if it goes down a little bit, somebody wants to buy 100, you could, you could go, or they want to buy 51. So you could click it, and then you would buy it at that too. So different ways that you can make the order. So here we are. We got our shares. Let's zoom in a little bit. So we dropped down below, but then it rallied back up. We had a squeeze here, which they say means volatility. It broke through three times. These are resistance levels, and it broke through them three times. So maybe volatility is up with BuzzFeed, but I don't know if it's good volatility or bad volatility or if it's volatility we should be buying on. But that is what we're here to learn, guys. So keep in mind what we're trying to get out of this. We are not just randomly buying stocks. We're trying to learn things that we've learned already use the information that we've learned in the last 18 previous um, lessons to buy a couple stocks today. Let us try. We'll leave this guy here. We'll just leave him here sitting for now. And what we're going to do is go to Maxin. And Maxon is a solar tech company. I'm going to check them out. Look at them. Straight down. What, what is it doing? Huh. Let's look at a different. See what, see what these guys are doing. He's all over the place. We got a wild one today, guys. So, it's good to get to get um to know where you're at this is today's there's the start and you can see that it went so i don't know what happened it just dropped down dropped down like a dog and it is at 30 it was up to 3061 and now it's down to 3022 and it was all the way down to $29 today. So, let us, what is it at right now? It's at 3021. Let's say if it drops down to 3020, we will buy 100 shares. And that's a limit order, guys. So, if it goes down... To 3020, which is just not very far. We will get us a hundred orders. We don't want a hundred. We just want ten orders. There we go. That's what I meant. Three hundred dollars. I don't know why I was thinking this was three dollars. So now you see our limit here. We're at 3021. Yay, it went through. So we bought them. At 3008. Good for us. We bop over to the monitor section. 
we could see our two orders that we filled. So we bought one with a market order and it gave us the 60.6977 price, which was lower than what the, what the ask was. And then we bought a limit order and we said we would not pay. Where's our limit order? We wouldn't pay over 30, 22 or 21, but we paid 3008. So we got a little bit of a discount by having a limit order down below because it sold, but, but it may not have sold. We know that about a limit order. We might not be filled, but it was. So we're good. We got a little bit of profit. Look at them moving up. Let's go check out what they're doing. So here we are. This is the average price we bought in. How many shares we have. And this is the profit loss open. And if it has parentheses, guys, remember that is a loss. Profit loss for the day. If it's out of parentheses, that is a gain. If it's in parentheses, it is a loss. So we are going to see another one. Let's look at, I'm trying to look for big movers today, guys. Oh, let's look at AMD. We're going to have three for today to look at. So, AMD has been pretty much all day inside of its bands. I don't see a big squeeze. It's it's running right inside of its bands. It's got a really close spread. You see 88.79 and 88.81. So, it's not a big asking to bid price. And... It has some volume. It's going. It's going. So I don't know about that one. Let's not do an example of a buy on that one. Let us see something. I like the volatile so we can see them. Oh, I know. A TSM, guys. TSM. TSM was up yesterday. Crazy amounts. And now it's down. So let us look at their... Five day. Yeah, so yesterday they had big moves. It was at a high of 91. And then today it is back down to, eight, well, it dropped down to 85. So this is a Taiwanese um, semiconductors, guys. Taiwanese semiconductors. And I think that semiconductors are probably a good investment in my own little brain right now. That's what I think. So I like to watch them. I like to see what's going on. And in my brain, I think this because, simply because, guys, we need more semiconductors. We need more, um, they're building them here. We protect Taiwan for the semiconductors. So if there is a way to invest in that, it's probably a good idea. I'm not saying your whole portfolio. I'm not saying lay $1,000 and that's all you have on Taiwan semiconductors. But, but I would look for a good in if I had it. So this is the start of today. Where's the start of today? Right here, guys. It's always a different color so that you can see the start of the market. Colors it like this. So we had a drop. It kind of leveled out. It's really tight, though. It's really tight right here. i never seen Bollinger Bands like this before. But look at this. What, what was this? What does it mean when the Bollinger Band gets squared out like that? You know what we're going to do? I just decided we need to review old trades. I got to find them. I don't know how to find them. I just thought of it in my head. We got to review people's old trades. So we got to try to get a hold of the this, the chart, because somebody probably already has seen this before. You see this right here? It's freaking me out. It's like, what is it? Why does it do that? Is it because of this big long candlestick right here? But why did it go up like this? I need to know. So what we need to do is if we can study other people's charts and decisions like entrances and exits they made and what happened, 
then we will have more information on it. We will be able to know if that was a good idea or that's a bad idea or even what this, what it, when the heck it is. Like, I get why this went up, but why did this go up so high? And this one, is it because it has to reflect what the bottom does? That's the kind of things we need to know, guys, because when we're making decisions on whether to buy, sell, entrance, exit, and it is crunch time because it's real money, we need to know what these mean. If we walk in here um, to get TSM and it's doing some whoopity crazy stuff, we probably shouldn't invest our little bit of money in because, guys, we're working on limited funds, remember? So the best way to do it is, like I always say, guys, knowledge up. The more knowledge you know, the better chance we have of coming out positive. Our risk management is a requirement of our risk management is education. I will not risk money if I do not understand what this is. I understand what this is. But if I don't understand why it went up like this at top, I'm not ready to, I'm not ready to spend real money doing this. Like... That's just my rule for myself, guys. So let's pop back over here. What do we got? We got a two cent gain, guys. What do we got going on? We got a high up here. Let us look at a different map or chart. I keep calling it a map, but map, but it's a chart, guys. I think I call it a map because I plan on using this to get to the money. So it's like a map for me, like a treasure map, but I understand it's a chart. And I apologize for calling it the wrong thing because I know some people get confused. So chart. I'm trying real hard to remember. Chart. So. I got an itchy lip. I remember when I was little they said if your hand itched, like the palm of your hand, that it meant that you were going to get money. What does it mean when your lip itches? That you got a disease? I don't know. But either way. My lip is itchy. Maybe. Oh, look. Look at it. Went back down. And now we're down 60 cents. You guys see how quick that could be? That's why we need risk management. Because you got to put a stop here. We could go sell this. How many do we have of this one? We only have 10. So we edit. Make it 10. We're going to say, let's limit this. If it goes, what do we pay? 30.08. And it is at 30.07. So that's why we've lost some. Let us say if it goes to 30, so we'll lose 8 cents per share, we'll lose 80 cents total. I think we can handle losing 80 cents. That's, um, oh, what, what was that? 80 of 300, so 80 cents. So we would only lose a couple, a couple percents. It's okay. I think that that is good. We'll have to do the math when we're really doing our risk management. But having a stop when things are going down is at least the beginning of risk management. So let us put a stop order here. And that will, see it's, it's sold. And that's okay because we don't want to go too low, guys. If your stock, see it sold it out and we had a profit of 40 cents. And that is a good thing, guys. It's okay to get out of something and not lose the money. We can get in and out because there are no commission fees. We're not paying a commission to sell this. We're not paying a commission to buy it. So we can get in and out and only win f and only gain 40 cents. It's not a big deal. If that's what if that's what happens in your first couple sells, you're not always going to be doing the exact same thing. It's okay. Oh, look, we have a little squeeze right there. A big. Oh, my. This guy's looking pretty wonkety, too. So, let's see. We got okay. I'm gonna do a close up on what's happening right here. What do we got going on? We had some eighty two at eighty two. Man, right at 9.30, lots of people. See, that's all volume. And that volume of people buying it is why it went back up. What a little volume here of selling. 
more selling. I had a long candlestick. This is like the shadow or whatever. There's a long shadow. It doesn't know what it wants to do. But it stays. This is Remember, this is a moving average. This is about the average of where it's at. So if you want, you could say... We bought it at 69.77, so we could say well, 70 is about the uh, the moving average right now. We could say we'll sell it. Let's sell it around the moving average. Oh, I sold it market, guys. What happened? I don't know how that happened. I didn't even click OK. I thought I was going to edit it and put a limit order. Instead, I just sold it. Don't do that, guys. Don't do that. And we lost all of our 40 cents in a market sell because it sold it at 0.6977. That's not what I wanted to sell it at. I wanted to put a limit order. I'm going to show you guys what I wanted to do. I wanted to buy it. Well, I already owned it. We could buy this. It's OK. It's $60. We'll send it through now. We own it, sell it, but edit it, edit it to a limit order. That's what I wanted to do. A limit order. We, we have a hundred. See, this was our first hundred. Don't get confused. Don't, you don't own 200 by a hundred. You own a hundred. And then this is our profit loss for the day because we lost that 54 cents. We're up 49 cents. So if we get to, what's it at, 69.54 right now? If we get to uh, 69.59, yeah, let's sell it. We will sell it if we get there. So if it drops back down, we will sell out, guys, so that we do not have another loss. If it goes up, then we will sell it before it gets to the resistance line. So if it gets to like 70.58, we'll sell. So we got to be watching. These are our two lines. We want to get in below the moving average and get out before the resistance because if it goes back down, we're just going to lose money, right? Doesn't make sense. So right here is the last, that's the last candlestick was at 70. So if we bought back up, up here, up towards the lines, that's when, and just think guys, this is only 100 shares at 60 cents, and we made 72 cents. What if we were rich, and this was 100,000 shares or 10,000 shares? Scaling up always makes it sound so much better. But I'm telling you this so that you will want to scale up. I'm not telling you this because you need to scale up or it's required. You could sell we could do stock market with $1,000 every month. Just put $1,000 in the account, trade, and that's it. Like you only work with $1,000. You could still make money. I'm not saying you will be Warren Buffett. I'm not saying you'll ever be rich. But you could have good risk management, $1,000, and trade on just that and make money. I don't know how much money you'd make. I mean, if you had 8%. Uh, you make 8% of that, $8 a day, $8 on a, on a thousand, and that would grow. It's just even at 8%. It's okay. 8%, it'd be $80, $80 a day. I got to learn my maths. But yeah, it's okay. So look, 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 where are we going? Here we are, moving average. It looked like it's moving down to me. That's okay, though, because if it goes down, guys, we're going to sell. And that will keep us from losing too much money, remember? This is called what, guys? Good risk management. This is what we will have every time we are on the market. Good risk management. My chair feels low today. I'm going to adjust the camera. I feel like I'm sitting low. Oh, man. There we go. It did something. You see what it did? It went down. I said it. I said it looks like it's going down. You see that little bump? That little bump said, uh, no thanks, guys. I don't want to go. I don't want to go green. Okay, well, 
what do we have on our monitor? Just one item, right? We only own a BuzzFeed. So while BuzzFeed marinates, I am going to catch a bathroom break and I'll be back and we'll decide what we're going to do with BuzzFeed before we end the clip today. Let's let it marinate. You can watch it while I have a quick break, restroom break, and I'll be right back. Okie dokie. I am back, but my hair is everywhere. When your hair is this long, guys, see how much hair I got? Long, 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 long hair. If you wonder why I always put it in front of me, it's because when you have long hair, if you sit up against it, like in the back, it will pull it right out of your head. Okay, so what are we doing, BuzzFeed? You down for the day? You drop below? Did it sell? Did we sell, guys? And we didn't sell. You see how our asking price is below the trade price, isn't it, right now? What is it? 69.6? And what do we say? 69.8. But nobody wants to buy it. 69.5 is what their bid is. So if you wanted to sell, like get out of it, you could just drop it down. I say, wait, wait a second. I don't know why it went below our thing and it's not selling. That's because it's a limit order, guys. And what, what is the rules about a limit order? Limit orders don't have to be sold. Well, it doesn't want to do anything. Just chilling. Chilling. There's not enough volume. Is that what it is? Twenty people want to sell right around us. That's why. It's got a lot of sales and not a lot of bids. At that price. That's okay. It's BuzzFeed. Not a lot of people want want to buy around at 69 cents, you know? Anything under a dollar, guys, people call it penny stocks. And they're, they, you know, they're not real nice to penny stocks. And they're not real nice about the way they talk about them or do them or anything like that. Nine communication service stocks moving in today's pre-market session. So, we have a limit order to sell. It's not reaching that. It's already below that. We just wait. Let's move it a little lower because we paid 69.28. We'll still not lose money if we move it here. And that's okay. We're just going to move it down. So now it's lower. If it drops down, it'll sell, hopefully. If not, I mean, it, maybe it'll go back up. It's trying to go back up. There we go. Oh, no, I thought it sold. I was like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's see our monitor. So we have this working order in. If it hits 9.2, it's currently at 9.4. Okay. 
They did. It dropped. It dropped like a dog. It's at 9.4 where we put it. But like 9.48. Jeez. Drop down below the bottom. Drop down below the bottom. That's because after a squeeze, they say it's going to be volatile. Oop, I didn't mean to. And it got pretty skinny there. Bought back up above the resistance. Now we've lost 71 cents for the day on here. This is penny stocks. It's slow moving, guys. Very slow moving. It's not something you'd be like watching real quick all day. You might put this up in the morning. The, the better idea would it been if we would have been here for the morning. Guys, it's 630 in the morning where I'm at, which is 930 trading time. If you come in in the morning, things like this are much more volatile. This is when you're going to get, if you would have bought here, at what is this uh 70 cents 70 point or 78 and you would have sold up here at 775 7, see this is 70.8 this is 75 you would have made uh, five cents on each one now five cents doesn't sound like a lot but what if you buy like i said you know hundreds of stocks then you're in the money you ain't acting funny. You're in the money now. Maybe like $8. $10. That's okay. Whoever got mad at somebody for making $10? Haters. We got 40 cents profit off the Maxon, guys. I like Maxon. I don't know why. Some people just like certain things when they do things. Maxon's always up and down, guys. If we would have came in at the beginning of, this is today when it opened, Friday, stock market opened, 6.30 a.m. They started high and they had a dip. Dip, 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 dip. If you would have bought at this dip, this dip is 29.96 and we would have, that would have been at 8 o'clock in the morning. We would have bought the dip. Dip, wait, look, it dipped way down here at 29.89. And if we would have sold at the highest of about 30.50, look at that. That's almost a dollar increase today that it did. It did drop back down, but we could have got out at any one of these points. I would have probably got out here at 30.43 if we got in here. And so, you know, you, you, you got to look for these big movements. It's a lot of growth and a lot of volume change down here, which which is a good thing to see, guys. I don't know why my. So what do we got? Let's go back to our BuzzFeed. We've got a little bit on BuzzFeed still. We got to get rid of it. So what do we have left So let us, it's at 69.4 right now. 69.3 and 69.5 is the spread. Let us try a mark. The only way that we are going to learn, guys, what the consequences of each trade will be is to do the trades. So sometimes if you see me on here and I do something that I shouldn't be doing, don't worry, we're just learning. So we sold it at 68.4. Which means we lost money, guys. I knew that that was going to happen because there's not a lot. You see this? There's not a lot of people playing in the market right now. So when, when there's a lot of people playing, think about it this way. If there's a lot of people playing, the bid and ask are going to be similar and you're going to get a good price. But if only a couple people are playing, and this might be the case in a lot of items that we need to make money off of. We have to be smart, and that is where other types of orders come in. That is why we're doing so much of market orders and limit orders, so we can see where they're useful and where they're not. At places like this, where the spread is, what, 0 0.004, where the spread is 0 0.004, and not a lot of people are, 
are doing or trading in, in it, it's not going to be as good as someone like, say, Apple, where people are always trying to buy and sell Apple. There's a lot of people in the market. Volume-wise, it's, it's a lot of people in there. So for the day, we lost 99 cents. I'd call that a good learning day, guys, a very good learning day. I would pay 99 cents of real money. This is fake money, but I would pay 99 cents of real money to learn all of that with you, with you folks. So with that being said, I hope you have a great day and a wonderful weekend because I will not see you again until Monday. Be there or be square. Have a great day.